Hello everyone. We're going to go through our high frequency words for this week. This week is actually going back to unit six, week one, and you'll be able to find this on Spelling City to practice as if they were your spelling words for this week. So let's go through them now. Our first word is door. Door. Number two, front. Front. Three, order. Order. Number four, we can see that it has a lot more syllables than the others. So let's sound out each part. Probably. Probably. Now when you're trying it out, you might say a or a, but in this word it actually makes that short U sound. Probably. Number five. This has several syllables as well, so let's chunk them together. Re, mem, ber. Put it together. Remember. Remember. Number six. Someone. Someone. Number four. Two. More row. Now when we read it for real, we don't say tomorrow. We actually say tomorrow. So as you can see in this middle part, it does not follow the rules and sound patterns that we've learned. It actually makes an R sound instead of or. Tomorrow. Number eight. What's. What's. Hopefully you notice that this is a, a different type of word. This is a contraction word, because what do we see up here? We see an apostrophe. So the two words that makes what's would be what and is. The apostrophe replaced the letter I that would have been there. What's. Nine, worry. So in this case, that O-R, there's that bossy R, is making the O make the er sound. So it's worry. Not worry, but worry. And then number 10, we have a longer word with more syllables. Let's sound it out together. Yes, so we should know that. Ter, there's your bossy R. Day, yesterday, okay? So let's read through them one more time because these are our high frequency words, words that we want to be familiar with and comfortable reading when we're reading our books. Door, front, order, probably, remember, someone, tomorrow, what's, worry, yesterday. These are your high frequency words for this week. Have a great day.